Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Debrude Krieg, an Austrian victory for Hearts of Iron 4, which is one of the comments from yesterday's video. I'm of course Mr. Oh yeah, Nicholas II lover, but the mod that we're using of course is Debrude Krieg, an Austrian victory mod. Um, right now though, apparently I think, I, I think, I can't remember, I just capitulated the uh, Austrian Empire, so now we have, or no, the Germans? Yeah, the Germans, not the Austrians, the Germans, because now we have the Republic of Hungary back. And we have the Slovak Republic too. But then we capitulated Romania, but then they came back under, in Klausenberg. Which doesn't sound very Romanian at all, but whatever. So this is why we're on this front now too, and we're trying to go like 1 2 buckle my shoe against the uh, French. But we still have to take out the British and the Japanese eventually. Well, we're not at war with the ja Japanese just yet, but we'll get there. We're working on it. Just keep them in place for now if you can. Um, but yeah, I don't know how the Volksreich has come out, but whatever. Um, in the meantime, we are, of course are still going to be trying to do some really fun actions against everybody to make sure that they all die. Got some comments such as someone says, uh, you should check out the new mod called Second Sengoku. It's the what if Japanese shogunate won the Boshin War scenario. So, yeah, I know I've been recommended that at the time of recording quite a bit, and I will check it out. I just don't have time yet. But yeah, I do promise I'll check it out. I heard it's at the time of recording quite buggy, which is kind of unfortunate. So, yeah, we'll get there. Uh, we will definitely get there. There's just so many things, so many mods, so many, so much to check out, but literally, literally just not enough time. But right now, we are doing the Grand Fleet. Oh, Confederation of the Rhine is gone. And Croatia, thank God. Uh, we are a great nation. Then that should have a fleet to match so that can project a power beyond the heartlands and to our territories elsewhere, such as Djibouti. Expanding fleet funding. The Russian fleet must be divided into two because of our interest in the Balkans of the Far East. So in order to compensate this, we must greatly increase our investments in the Navy to compensate for the divided nature of it. Uh-oh. Convoys, that's fine, whatever. Because we do have our main fleet down here, too. So, Got quite a few ships. Our guy's quite a good admiral. Oh, hello. Supreme Spanish Royal Junta. Supreme! Holland is gone. That's very, very good. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Here are the casualties as well. Half a million versus how many? Italy, 400,000. India's there. Dravid Nadu. So, yeah. Where's France? There they are. Not bad so far. Um, not really doing much here in India. Remember, Allah is pretty much doing everything. So. Islamistan? Huh. Alright. There goes Belgium, boys. Goodbye, Belgium. Goodbye. Another heavy ship? I like heavy ships, and I cannot lie. I like them big and heavy. Nice. Um, advanced light tank chassis. Um, I don't really, really use you. Well, I guess we're taking it for tanks, but hmm. We're getting medium tank chassis. I don't really use too much of that. Oh, what's this? Cool. Not bad. We're actually expanding very quickly down here. Very nice. Let's hope we can get rid of these guys and begin to try to invade the UK. Mechanized railway guns, naval bombers, we need a few more of those guys. Fighters, we need way more of those guys. We need way more artillery. Follow Florence, very nice. Very, very nice. Anything over here we really care about? Ooh, inviting American highway investors? Why not? Why not? You know, why not? We have any fighters, sort of ish? Not many. There we go. We got since you're here. You might as well uproot or uproot some entrenchment, get us some more knowledge, because knowledge is power, as some might say. So. He's probably promoted. There we go. There you do that stuff. Oh, are you guys done? Nice. There you go. Thank you. Come again. Hit them a little harder when you invade. You know, all the good stuff. Eight light tanks, really. They're, they're, no, they're all light tanks, yeah. Just wait for medium tanks for the most part at this point. We can invest in light tanks, but nah. Right, don't worry about that, just go here. Just, just drive. No, they died anyways. There you go, nice. Good job, guys. France is falling way faster than I thought they would. Good, good, good. And Trivazon stuff? Sure, why not? Inviting Russian investors? Yeah, why not? 
Um, you know, as much as I usually don't like scripted peace deals, these peace deals are not bad. They really are not bad. Not too bad. Uh, you basically get a free ally out of them. It's not bad. I mean, you can do that anyways, but, you know, whatever. Oh, man. Keep losing combos here, huh? Nice. Goodbye, soldiers. 15 combos. Nice. Should probably invade through here, too, but we'll probably just invade the UK. Hey, it was gone, too. Treat her in. Nice. Another comment includes, you need to make a Millennium, Millennium Dawn series. Eh, eventually. Eh, eventually. Oh, wait, why are we at war with these guys now? Do they seriously just screw us over? Yeah. That's dumb. It's very dumb. Um, someone says, can you do TNO Wells as Emery Thomas? Eh, we'll see, maybe. Can you do a, a USA campaign in Debrugge mod, please? Um, I'd like to, but... That's a beautiful America. But they don't have unique focus tree, so not yet. Eventually, probably someday, but not yet. I, just, I gotta wait for a unique focus tree first. Nice. Right, so get, get rid of the French. Always get rid of the French. And the Spanish. Actually, since we're getting to. Here, just do all this. It's a Russian lake. At this point. Hey, there goes the French Empire. Nice. Portable radios? I don't think we really need to do this too much, but we'll do it against these guys anyways. Nice. And back to Italy. Of course. Um, in the meantime, you know what? You can keep making more planes, but keep them down here. And we can't really make any more because we have, like, no fuel. Or I should really say, no rubber. Some more rubber, please. Oh, the convoys. Oh, we got him. Yeah, so much for a scripted peace deal. No, well, we can just annex him. Why not? Kingdom of the Alpines. Rhine. Oopsie. Oh no. Not the Spanish. I forgot the Spanish. What the heck? Well, whatever. We'll take go back and kill them off too. It only takes 90 days. You guys go and start planning the invasion. Invading with these guys is probably a really bad idea, but we'll try it. Ship hole, yes, please. Okay, another one I've done. Okay. Why not? 1942, of course. Convoys, eh? You still want to sink your convoys. That's a big mistake. Oh, God, we got so many more fighters and whatnot. Do we have any naval bombers? Some cast, which is nice. There we go. In the meantime, ah, kill them off, please. We're fighting these guys too, huh? That's will be it. This will be it. Oh, it's going to take us some time to get around there. Or, yeah, just keep going around if you can for now. You guys are going to be heading down there anyways. Wrap them up, whatnot. Oh. Finally killed them all. 
could use a little more manpower too, probably. <clears throat> Experimental carriers. A new type of warfare has been going to form one of the air and sea working in unity. Let's make sure to doubt this quickly, lest we be left behind. <coughs> 42. Research speed, yes. Nice. Good. Nice. Nope. Good. 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 Go ahead. British will give you orders. Let's take a look see. You know, as much as we might need planes and such, I don't want to deal with all this stuff. You know, quite a few more light tanks, though. Got to be a better way of organizing all this stuff than what is currently like. As good God, this is got this is terrible. There you go. Mobilizing more too, which is nice. And that's not bad. Not too bad either. John Deere Russia sounds really weird. Oh Brownabell. There we go. Armor as you can, there they go, thank god. Where the heck are the ships? Brosis, you are allowed to go through the Cape Cairo. Oh, I guess we have to wait here. Dang it. You know what? Screw that. You guys come here. Have fun in Africa. Oh, we mobilized quite a bit more, didn't we? That's a lonely day. Convoys here and there, not bad. Chris White Army presence, yeah. You guys are going to get ready too. She'll be able to go to war pretty darn soon. Two man turret, special modules, wet ammo storage, extra ammo, and armor. Yeah. More liability. Not bad. That's why I don't like doing this medium stuff. Yeah, I'm, it just costs so much to want a really nice tank. Supply point somewhere here, maybe, maybe not. Eastern North Sea. Oh god. Oh boy, hold on. Do we not have naval bombers here? We do. Any more? <clears throat> what are the naval bombers doing? If you're not going to help the subs out, there's no point of deploy them. Are you kidding me? They should not have been able to invade. What? Or is very, very minimally. That's so stupid. And that's not a mod thing. That's a Hoi 4 thing. Get your butts up here. Come on.
Are you actually doing anything? Or are you just having uh, the subs do everything? Seriously, where, where are the naval bombers? Why do they suck so much? That's so stupid. There goes East Indies, that's good. Get all the British. I deserve nothing. I'll get nothing. Now with the port here. Well, do that. Or maybe we're like that. Get rid of the Egyptians. No more Egyptians, please. There you go, nice. Now hopefully we can get out of the med. Sure, guys. Sure. And then... Kolchak's dream. The dream of the largest battleship is one that many nations have, but must be dream we must be the ones who achieve it. By further investing in battleship development, we can make sure of this. There you go, nice. Yeah, these, ba these naval bombers, they can't do anything. So bad. There goes Egypt. St. Petersburg decla Declaration. <clears throat> Steel mills. Uh, I'm going to do all these. Might as well. Nice. Missing anything about besides rubber? No. Belogorov's development of Russia. Camilla Conate. Sub gone, which is good. Get all the way to Gibraltar. It's a long way over, but that's okay. Follow Madrid, that's good. Let's see another comment. Jared Morbius, yes. Someone says, like I said earlier, what's my name? Deb Ruta Greek. Uh, and someone says, I know there is a USA. Huh. Huh. Nice. Uh, actually, go here first, then go, then go to Gibraltar. Ah, you were stopped by the British. Not for long. Did you renave the invade or something here? The rock will be ours. Ah, sorry about that. Took a while for us to get Spain, that's okay. 42, better already. Sea wolf, lone wolf. Here. Make it harder so they can't see you. So now you guys come over here. You guys can stop doing all that stuff. And you guys can come right here. <clears throat> Grab about 100 fighters here. Or maybe more. Not bad. Not too shabby. Pretty good so far, I'd say. Oh, that's not good up here. Well, he's unhappy guys up here. Come down that way too. And there you go. There you go. Keep making more ships. By God, do we need them? And after Kolchak's dream, Imperium of the Sea. Even though the Russian Empire is dead. No, it's not. We should create a new empire, and one of the seas is where no one will be able to go against our will. Pretty much. Oh my god. 
Why can't you get out of here? Oh my god. Why are they fighting me so hard on that? What the heck? Hmm. <clears throat> Five people to war. I'm not giving you some more stability, but I don't think we can get that, so. Trebizon stuff. Migrants. All this stuff's good. And go prospect. Oh, did you actually decide to show up this time? Where are you guys at? Not too far behind. Cancel lend lease. Repairing, eh? Big ol' repairs, ah. Or you guys just all go there. You repair way more. Way quicker. There you go, Steve. One days. Ah. See, now that's so much better. One days. Some of you guys are on fire. Main battery mount disabled. That sucks. Are the cruiser not bad not bad not bad a couple days here and there a lot of ships need quite a bit of repairs unfortunate and go when you can once you have some guys coming out that'd be very nice very nice so this is stuff I don't want to deal with so Oh my god. Yeah, I can't wait until we get rid of all this stuff. Like, there should just be an option saying, hey, if you collect stuff, don't worry about it. Or we'll just auto-convert it over time. I don't want to deal with any of that. So, my bad, but just, it's very annoying. You better be able to see. You still, you still, ah, some of the bigger ships. Got really hit hard, but escorting the beasts. No ship should be alone, no matter how fearsome it is. We should prevent this from happening by ensuring a destroyer is the top of the line of quality. And thereafter, I have to leave the cavalry ship alone to face its fate. How many more days? We got still four here. Oh, 19 days for a total. Not bad. Where are we at for Trebizond? 37%. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take forever. Hey, Anglo Egyptian Sudan. That's a very weird thing to say. Bad, hey, not bad. Very nice. Are you guys done yet? Jesus. Yeah, abort the. Oh my god. I hate how sometimes a stupid naval meta, it just. Or not even meta, just like. Just go in the goddamn sea. Bro, like seriously. Like, if you put it like on split, you sh ship should automatically go out, no matter what. What? What? Where is everybody? Well. Hello. They should have quite a few divisions. Okay. Sure, why not? Look at this guy. Now nah, we're good. Keep dealing with India. I don't want to deal with India, please. Oh, wow. They actually decided to have some convoys here. Hey. Hey, eight destroyers. Nice. Tons of convoys. Enjoying it. Not bad. You guys just kind of hanging out, though. It's fine with me. Just going to hang out for now. Oh, we integrated them. No wonder. Okay, that's my bad. We integrated them. Okay. Thank you, sirs. We actually have enough rubber to get this many fighters. Holy crap. I don't want to deal with that, so... There you go. Alright, then. Vanguard. Okay then. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Well, I'll do this piece too, probably off screen. And here we are at everybody. It's a very, very green world. Oh, we own part of North America too. But we've done a couple books as well, such as um, Kovanko's Influence. In his many years in the Russian Air Force, Kovanko solidifies his influence over all aspects of it. So. And of course, we'll do our Russian glory next after Revenge for 1905. Operation Supernova is a recently developed plan for a war against the Japanese. The reason is named after an event that destroys the entirety of a star, that the same general thing occurs in Operation Supernova, with Japan's invectum instead, and Russian glory. We have brought multiple regions almost entirely under control. This is show just showing how powerful Russia is, along with its Tsar family. Increases presidential approval rating by 6%. Oh. Second Russo Japanese War. Very cool. Can't you do get along for once? No, why would we? Actually, how strong is Japan? Uh, Taisho, conservative democracy. Mm, quite a few things here. Uh, not that many. Ship fleet is pretty good. Pretty decent, I'd say. Uh, I want the ship, so get ready to go. Yeah, I think all our guys in. Alright. UK condemns our envision. What? Today, Westminster, uh, who uh, we were capitulated, issued diplomatic objection to a rifle invasion of the Empire of Japan, declaring an unwarranted act of total aggression. They're threatening to cut off diplomatic ties further. We do not halt the expansion of our influence in the Far East. Uh, you sure about that? You sure? Oh, oh, look at you guys. Oh, look at that. Nice. Nah, 14 subs, a light cruiser, and... 11 destroyers. Beautiful. Oh, oh. I thought that, well, we were on the left side. No, we're on the right side here. Holy crap. Two subs, a heavy cruiser, 21 destroyers, a battleship, a light cruiser for three destroyers. And six more destroyers. Not bad, my friends. We're going to repair for a That tractor mortar's not bad. Um, not bad, not bad. Overall, not bad. Wow. We got a crap ton of, uh, Speed from that one, didn't we? Oh. Of course, we are trying to get as much stuff in here in the water as possible, so. Nice. <clears throat> a new dawn for the Slavic race. It's done. Russia is the next superpower of the world, and we shall now step up to the plate and help the world move on and prosper. This is the dawn of Russia and the Slavic people. Nice. Yeah, of course, guys. Why don't you go straight on in? Ah, yeah, just doing a lot of stuff here. <clears throat> Pursue Slavic unity. Russia has always been the protector of the Slavs, but now it's the time it's coming to fully take the mantle and direct control all of, or, over all the lands inhabited by the Slavic people. Nice. Yeah, I kind of figured these ships are going to need a lot of repairs. After all those battles, oh good god. But that wasn't too bad, actually, that admiral. Did he level up at all? Because if he did, that would be impressive, Kolchak. No, but he did really well, though. That's all I can ask. Just, just be perfect, you know? Um, unite the Balkans, unite the Far East, yeah, advance into Europe. Well, I give our population, but we're just so Rogozhan goes down about 40%, which would be very helpful, actually. The European powers have always mocked Russia for its backwardness, just regarding us as true Europeans, but no more. We'll shall set, shall set the tune that all Europe uh, will dance to. Oh, we're trying here. Oh, no, we're not. Now we're trying. We just showed up. But now we're really trying. Oh, you guys are doing that stuff over there, too. Um, uh, because we are... Wanting to invade these guys too up here. And I actually decided to get rocket artillery too for some reason. I, n I never, ever, 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 ever use it, but I figured, you know what, why not? This time, we're worth it. Actually, to help us with some of this stuff here. Just do this too. Let's figure out what's going on. Losses. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever capitulate these guys. It's kind of dumb. You have to capitulate Argentina. Come on, man. Seriously. Uh, 159,000. That's not bad. We lost quite a few, but against the Japanese, it's less than 1,000 ish, maybe. So. Overall, not bad. Not too shabby. Oh, hello. Oh, the Japanese fleet. Yeah, he's level what? Can you even tell? 5545. Five, uh, 6232. Um, death charges, white lot, fleet anti air. We got way more death charges. Double the uh, anti air. Torpedoes, we have way more. Just way more. Heavy guns, we've got 200 more heavy guns against them. Total damage done, 1008. 
What damage on 770? Light guns? We have triple their light guns, almost. And positioning is... Actually, their positioning is better. Kolchak does really help out. We have a larger fleet, which does suck. But at this point, it doesn't even matter. Oh my god! That's so devastating! Three battleships, four battlecruisers, four light cruisers, and 27 destroyers. Jesus, Kolchak, you are a monster. I love it! A lot of repairs are needed. Um, let's go over here. Can we just repair faster? Yeah. Repair even faster if we can. I'll uh, go and get one too. We, I'd like to make this, but we're not going to. We must get 1944 stuff already. Yeah, you might as well. Let's go ahead and have everybody repair. It's going to take a lot of things to repair, but it's okay. Actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Because you can. Actually, at theorist, here, oh. Subs, capital ships, sure, even more attack, why not? I like capital attack. Uh, French Empire. Uh, the rightful owners of Königsberg. Königsberg has historical Polish settlement, but thus it rightfully belongs to the protector of the Poles, which is us. So, cool. Ah, there we go. More conflict, yeah! Send you go down here. We're not just finding anybody else right now, which is fine. I'll give you those guys. Let's see. Wow, we got a lot of fighters now. Too many fighters. Oh god, half of this is literally just fighters. It's annoying. And if you guys go right with you. Nice. Do the best you can. Did I not? There you go. Medium tanks. It's not bad. It's really a bad idea to do this now, but we're just going to convert one. Oh, we already did convert one of these. There you go. See what you can do. We're doing a good job for these already. Not bad. Keep going. And they're gone. Beautiful. Because why not? Oh, hello. Oh, you guys are probably suffering from a lot of supply issues here, aren't you? Not bad. Take a 4-2. Go ahead. Have fun. Come on over here and have fun too. A lot of losses for the Japanese. Not enough, obviously, but not bad. Advancing to Europe, of course. Cool. Hey. Hey. Not bad. Um, after that, you not the Far East? There's much Russian settlement in the northeastern China and Mongolia. We must make sure we can administer these regions as we do the Russians in Moscow and Siberia. Remembering Tilsit, we cannot forget the humiliation that made us recognize the French Republic governments. But now we should go our own way and we will make the French pay for the humiliations laid upon us. Pretty much. 55, good god. We destroyed their navy. And I love it. We can move very fast. 
very nice. Get the heck out of there. Yeah, if we actually do that. Hey, I'm from Japan. Thank you for playing. And more ships. Just destroy. Just destroy. Which sucks. But whatever. Oh, Slavic Federation. That's us. Hey, that's us. Come over here. Bad. Mannerheim? Oh, 94 is. Eh, it's a bit too late. It doesn't really matter at this point. But god dang, Kolchak. God dang, that's all I can say. We have 106%. Wow, 106% approval? Not too bad. Oh, well, everybody, so now, at this point, we might as well just use cons commands. We pretty much did everything here that we really need to. So, F.A. Of course, Tilsit, Pounce on Paris, auto completed. Uh, Napoleon obviously dreamed of a march to Moscow, so we must preempt this attack by making a quick blow to the capital, crippling their nation. And the German menace. The Germans have been a constant threat to us as of late, with the Habsburgs' domination of Central Europe in the past. And the rising Prussian threat of radicalism is another threat we must face down before it tries to devour us. <clears throat> and win the great game. Now Britain stands as only the possible threat to our might <clears throat> with the vast colonial holdings. We must destroy them so we can stand unraveled in the world. Unite the Balkans. Uh, Balkans, the home of the South Slavs. We must put an end to the bickering between those who have a united heritage under our paternal care. Unite the Far East. As much Russian settlement, of course, in northeastern China and Mongolia, let's make sure that we can administer these regions as we do the Russians in Moscow and Siberia. Unite the Intermarium states. The Poles, Hungarians, Slovaks, the western most of our subjects, have had many reasons to dislike us over the years, but now we can finally unite those who are outside of grass, letting all Poles, Magyars, and Slavs reside together and unite Central Asia. Russian control of Central Asia is a recent development, and the times come to encompass all the region within a rule, and the Eurasian superstate. Now he stands indisputable head of Eurasia, protector of all Slavs, and juggernaut of the world. That's sorry for the hundreds. The black hundreds have existed for many decades now and never have, have, have had any sort of form of power. With its art and properly restored, though, the black hundreds can finally begin to accomplish their goals. Adopt religious fanaticism. Nikolai Yevgenievich Markov has found a new kind of religious fanaticism, an orthodox state ideology which he calls Var Varovskism. By adopting this, we can implement a strict law of theomonic code of law, institute Kiev ghetto. The Ukrainians and the Jewish within this orthodox country are blight upon us. They must either accept their orthodox Russians or suffer undesirable consequences. Today, thousands of unwanted citizens of the Ukrainian city of Kiev were rushing to cramped areas outside the cities known as ghettos. The local police enforcement were assisted by many Russian nationalists who had flocked to the grand opening. Nevertheless, many liberal politicians and ethnic leaders have decried reforms in Ukraine and threatened to protest the government and boycott industry. A pure Russia. They speak Ukrainian is deaf. Well, what a, what a time to say this now. With the mass deployment of Ukraine having become, uh, de development, I should say, our popularity within the region soared. This gives us the perfect opportunity to illegalize the Ukrainian language to keep the ethnicity suppressed, the divine orthodox law. We, of Varovkism, uh, have become quite popular with other people. And a majority of our nation being orthodox, we can finally permit the orthodox church to begin having a say in our laws, as well as letting us pass laws for the church. And Russia is in, our hands, is in the hands of God. With Varovkism having a major foothold within the government and populace, as well as the removal of Ukrainians and Jewish people, Russia is able to call itself the Var first Varovsky nation, a title we shall embrace entirely. Annexation of Byzantium? Cool. Abdul Mujahid II refuses our demands. Afghanistan's gone. Uh, Kamul Khanate. Nice. Bethlehem rejects. Bulgaria's ours. Slovak Republic. Serbia. Leon, Romania says no. Well, they're dead. Annexation of China. Ah, nice. Genghis Khan rejects us. So that's how we left. We're going to end it probably. Oh, do we have anything else? Oh, we have more focuses up there, but it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, look at that. So we became the Eurasian state. But that's pretty much it for now. Um, that's pretty much all the content we have. I, mean, I guess we could have done this more fairly and stuff like that. But we're looking pretty green. The world's looking pretty green. Even in the Americas, it's looking pretty flipping green. But if you enjoyed the campaign, hey. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great, 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 great rest of uh, your day.